Howdy y'all. Today I'm going to be going over my single track day pack. This is not something I would use dual sporting with this bike. I might do a three or four day dual sporting trip with it. This is just for like, I'm going out for the day, going into the boonies, single track with buddies or solo even, um, what I'm carrying on me. And like, it's bare essential. To start though, this is the Wolf Enduro Pack Vest. I absolutely love it. I was skeptical at first because I had a nice Krieger 18 liter bag and it was perfect. So they sent it out to me and I tried it. Long story short, I fell in love with it. The biggest thing I like about it is it is a little, some say dorky, but I actually really think its functionality is the star show of the bag. So I'm gonna go over it real quick. It's not gonna be a long video, just kind of what I carry on my day rides. So starting right here in the back, you open this up. I just, this is my main tool compartment pretty much. Everything to fit the bike. If I'm riding the Tenere, which I don't have anymore, but I did have this when I had the Tenere, it was more suited for the Tenere. This is all stuff that fits the 500 down to a T. I could probably take it all the way down to the engine with this stuff. Um, just to start, I have a few bolts, odds and ends. This is always growing and ever changing. Uh, a spare spark plug with the part number on the spark plug. I could just throw the spark plug in here. I recommend throwing either a sheet or just keeping the uh, box that it comes in in there because then you have a part number and you don't have to look it up. Different bolts, stuff that I use. I actually picked up a Tusk 178 piece bolt kit for the Euro bikes and so far everything looks cool with it. It's got a little tire gauge, uh, something to actually pull your valve stem or valve core out. This thing came with the KTM, just a little T-handle and a spoke wrench, which is mighty handy. This little thing came with the KTM and it has uh, pretty much every fitting you would need for this bike. Different, uh, Got a 13 here. The bike uses a lot of 13 and a lot of 10. This will do rear and the front, and it has a little spoon on it, but I do carry spoons, you'll see. And that is going to change. The Tusk ones I want are out of stock, and then the Motion Pro ones that I want are a little expensive, but it would pretty much eliminate this and only be carrying two spoons. I do carry these. They're light. They don't take up much room in here. They just save my rim. That rear rim on that Warp 9 is getting screwed up anyway, so these probably will end up going. Carry a load of zip ties, a 10, and then a little fork, or a little uh, needle nose. That's it for tools. There is another little tool section, or a little tool bit in the front, but that's more for quick adjustments. Coming into this bag, I'm not pulling it out because it's kind of a pain to get in there. I have a full front 21 inch tube in there. It took me a minute to roll it up and get all the air out, but it does fit in there, and you can use a 21 on the rear in a pinch, and obviously the front tube will work in the front tube. So I do carry a spare tube on me. In here, I got my, I think it's just a climb. Yeah, just a climb. I think it's a three liter. Uh, and then here are my motion pro spoons. These are big and heavy. These are great in the garage, but these are soon gonna be changed out. But for now, I'd rather carry it and not have it. And then I have a park tool hand pump. So, fully capable to redo a front or rear tire, which I think is extremely important since I run tubes. This winter, I'm thinking about putting the tubeless by New Tech or whoever on this bike. I'm not convinced mooses are gonna be for me. I do dual sport the bike. So I think I'm gonna run the tubeless um, setup. Otherwise, I just run ultra heavy duty tubes. I don't have that much of an issue. I have an issue maybe once or twice a year, knock on wood, but I do carry a spare tube. It's cheap insurance. And then coming up front here, see a Biggs. This is what I was talking about by my second little toolkit. I use this little Crank Brothers as a quick and easy, I need to adjust a lever or something. It's a quick and accessible tool I can grab. This is probably my biggest downfall. I want to have a nice little medic kit, almost an IFAC would be perfect. And I want to put the IFAC right there. Tourniquet and everything. I have a tourniquet in my truck for my range stuff. I don't have two. So that is something, this is something I really want to change is a nice little IFAC kit, specifically tuned for the trail. I'm not going to have something for a sunken chest wound, something that's tailored towards riding dirt bikes. So tourniquet would be important. Maybe a Sam splint, you know, big gashes or big fractures, you can kind of stop, but that's a quick one. In it, I just have some bandages, some gauze, alcohol wipes, 
and some gloves. Gloves are important. You don't want to get any kind of infection off the person. That's it. That is something I'm going to change relatively soon. Try to build out my own dirt biking IFAT kit. This one has nothing because I throw my phone in here, I throw snacks in here, I throw maps in here, really anything that uh, comes and goes. So like tomorrow morning, I'll probably pick up a MedRx or a Quest Bar, throw it in there. If someone finds something on the trail, I can throw it in there. If someone wants me to carry something for them, I can throw it in there. It's really kind of a, a dual little pouch. I keep it pretty empty. Having your phone in here and having it right here is pretty nice. It's accessible, you can take a picture really quick. You're not, it's not sweaty from your pants. This is pretty much the rundown of my pack vest. If I'm gonna go on a three or four day excursion, I'll probably still run this. The setup will be a little different. Like I said, I wanna get an IFAT kit that sits right here, probably about the same size as this pouch, just right here. But I digress, that's the setup. I There's things I wanna change. If you have anything that you think I could do better or any critiques for me, definitely hit me in the comments. I, I want to ever change and ever progress in my carrying bag. And I think you should too. If you have any questions for me, also write them down below. I will be sure to respond back in a timely manner. With that said, I'm gonna be riding tomorrow and I'm hopefully getting a lot of content, I'm trying to ride more and more, but that's it. Thank you guys.